GCSE Economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on globalization. Globalization refers to the increasingly interconnected world we have that's led to increased trading goods and services and an increase in capital flows. Capital flows refers to when people in one country invest in businesses in a different country. It is not uncommon for modern products to be manufactured with parts from all over the world. For example, this smartphone could be manufactured with parts from five or six different countries. Large scale globalization really sees its roots traced to the end of the Second World War. At this point, there was a shortage of many goods and so increased trade helped to foster better relations between nations who needed to cooperate to maximize the output they could achieve from the scarce resources they had left after a long and drawn out war. The establishment of the United Nations has also led to far greater cultural exchange as nations seek to avoid another world war. In more recent times, the opening up of countries like China to Western trade has led to huge increases in world trade due to the size of China's population. Another big driver towards globalization was improved transportation. The development of air transport, along with massive improvements to rail and road infrastructure, mean that more goods could be transported at a lower price. Containerization, which is the use of standard size containers that can be easily moved between ships, trains and trucks, was probably the biggest contributor to global trade. As you can see, the size of container ships has grown massively over time, allowing them to take advantage of economies of scale, meaning that now far more goods can be moved and at a far lower price. Vastly improved global telecommunications networks sped up the rate of globalization. The internet is a huge driver of globalization because of the ease with which people can sell to consumers in another country. Its increase in dominance as a marketplace has been a real driver towards globalization. Since the end of World War II, big changes to rules about foreign ownership in many countries have led to far greater foreign investment. There's also been a massive increase in multinational firms that set up and operate in multiple countries around the world. These firms have to build factories and have offices in each of the countries they work in. The majority of foreign direct investment into the United Kingdom comes from the United States. Much of the investment you can see here is the result of foreign firms purchasing formerly UK owned firms and continuing to invest in those businesses. That brings us to the end of this video introducing globalization. Join me in the next video when I'll be looking at how development is measured. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.